He had a replacement of his aortic valve, which was the main valve in the heart because it was narrowed, and he also had two bypasses because he had blocked coronary arteries. What were the concerns, if any, with this patient because of his age and the procedures that he required? Well, initially he was referred for a transcatheter aortic valve program because we thought that the risk of surgery was quite high. He had a lot of calcium in his aorta and we were worried about stroke. But after we reviewed him, we thought really his risk would be better with open surgery, even though it's a much bigger procedure. And how did he do with it? Uh, he did very well with that. We again came across all this calcium in his aorta, which is the big pipe coming out of the heart. And we managed to deal with that. And fortunately, he did not have a stroke, and he's done extremely well. Why was he, in the end, not a TAVI candidate? Because we felt that uh, he was really on the borderline of probably be benefiting, benefiting more from open surgery and doing two bypasses. If he had to have a TAVI, then we have to do two separate procedures, angioplasty for his coronary arteries, and then the separate TAVI, which I think in the long run probably wouldn't have been as good for him. Given his age, was there anything specific related to his age that added to the complication or potential risk factors? Well, it's a good question. The main thing was his age and the fact that he had more calcium in his aorta, more than the usual person at, person at that age, and that was our big concern because with surgery we have to clamp that aorta, and we're always concerned about pieces breaking off. And fortunately, that that did not happen. As the surgeon who performed this particular procedure, can you tell us? Um, you know, some of the details, how long it took, were there any things that surprised you? There were certainly no surprises. We certainly came across a large piece of calcium in his aorta, but we were very careful, careful in how we clamped it, and we made sure nothing uh, went up towards his brain. We flushed things out, and we were very careful from that perspective. That was probably the most important aspect of the surgery. The rest of the surgery, replacing his valve and performing the two bypasses, was pretty much straightforward, at least from our perspective. How long was it? Uh, the total operation was probably around four hours. I think that the actual time the heart was stopped was more like about 80 minutes.